welcome to this video. Myself, Mr. Hinkel Lathe, working as a lecturer in the electrical engineering department. So today, we're going to learn how to test the field winding and armature. Yes, for that purpose, uh, we are going to understand firstly this. This is the DC motor, okay? So this DC motor have four terminals. Actually, we don't know what are the different name of this terminal. So with the help of test lamp, we are going to identify the which terminals they are. Okay, so we have uh, the tools required for this. Uh, we are going to prepare one test lamp. So with the help of test lamp, we are going to ident identify it. This test lamp is designed by our student from second year, that is Harshavardhan and Pranav. Okay, so now we are going to perform the test. Okay, so how to identify the field winding and armature. Okay, so with the help of test lamp, so yes, here. I switch on the supply. Okay. So yes, this test lamp now ready to for the test. And we have four terminals. I don't know what are the different names of armature and field. So firstly, I'm going to connect them, and then under uh, yes, lamp is not glowing. Here the lamp is not glowing. Okay. Here lamp is on. So it means what? This is the armature winding. Okay. So these are the armature winding. Now we are going to test the field winding. So for field winding, we, no, we do not, lamp will does not glow, but we can observe the small value of spark. So here, observe near the nut, so you can observe the spark, okay? So it means what, this is the field winding. Why this is happened? Because field winding have high value of resistance, armature have low value of resistance. That's why lamp is going to run. So this is the simple test, with the help of, we can identify which two terminals are armature and another terminals are field winding. Thank you.